Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and today we are going to play some Kingdom Two Crowns. Um, the game's been around for a while, and I just recently picked it up for uh, on the on the cheap. Uh, it's a premium game on the app stores, but uh, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday type sales uh, saw this at a good price, and I figured uh, might as well pick it up because uh, I did pick up Kingdom. I did not pick up Kingdom 2 Crowns. Um, maybe because uh, seeing the name 2 Crowns, I sort of needed something for uh, whatever it was trying to dish out. Um, but, you know, didn't have that. Anyway, <laughs> got it now and uh, kind of kicking myself for having, you know, taken as long as I have to sort of pick this up. So I was not expecting to see uh, not only Kingdom Two Crowns, but nuts. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can do this again without actually tripping anything. So I picked up the Kingdom Two Crowns. I was not expecting to see, say, damn it. Okay, <laughs> how does one actually get to the other games in this series? So, um, no, no! Okay, maybe now we can try this without actually getting into a game we didn't want to get into. So, not only do you have Kingdom Two Crowns, but you have Kingdom Shogun and Kingdom Deadlands, which I didn't realize that uh, they had come out with this expansion, but cool nonetheless. I'll have to give that a try later on. But no, what we're actually here for is Kingdom Norselands, and there's a big bad lock in the way. So what we're going to do, I'm going to unlock the Norselands, and we're going to try them out, uh, hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully not too without me being an idiot. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back once we get into the Norselands. All right, and here we are. Let's enter the kingdom. Again, the monarch will try to last. And probably not last very long. Um, I was never very good at the kingdom game. Uh, hello, you? Follow. How about if I don't? No, I want to go this way. I am... Invisible wall. I cannot go that way. Fine, I guess I'll follow. Um, I was a very intrigued by the Kingdom Games, but was never very good at them, so I don't think I've made it very long. Oh, look, there are two crowns. Symbolism or something? Oh, oh, that can't be good. Oh, my kingdom is in ruins. Uh, what if I don't want to follow? All right, fine, I'll follow. I know we have to proceed to the right in order to start up our kingdom. What is that in the background? It's a big A. Are we in Canada? We could be. Oh, someone just left this money lying around. Stand here. Swipe down to hold and hold. Okay. Swipe down and hold to light a fire. Ah, I see. So we're starting it up. Uh, throw the coin to the peasants. Take it. Fine. You are such a pushy little ghost, aren't you? Uh, swipe and hold anywhere to buy a bow. Now, I bought a bow, but... The bow is not for me to use. The bow is for one of these fine peasants to use. So he will go ahead and use that. Uh, oh, all right, I'm following. Jeez. Um, nope. Can't follow. Oh, stand here. You want me to follow the other way for once. Have an ox. 
Fine, I'll stand here. I know the game is just sort of going through the tutorial bits, but uh, it's like, follow me, stand here, do this, do that. Don't die in the first minute. Can I go this way now? Can I explore? Thank you. Stand here. Recruit some peasants. We need to go looking. No? Oh, right. Fine. Um, the art style is very nice, um, with especially with the reflections in the water. Uh, definitely dig that. To expand, you must clear, cut, and... Okay, so I'm... I'm marking a tree for destruction, am I? Yeah, and then my little axe wielder will go off and chop her down. Yeah. And, you know, when hunters uh, and gatherers get stuff and collect currency, they'll uh, uh, gather and get another bowman. We'll do. Um, they drop coins for their leader, which is me. So I can actually go off and explore now. Thanks. Don't have the ghost to tell us what we need to do or where we could go or not go. Uh, so there is a little bit of a touch controls are quite nice. Like, I mean, it's just swiping and whatnot, so not a big deal. Uh, I do like the fact that you can sort of go at your own pace, whether it's fast or slow. And we don't have anything to to offer to the idol. Not really sure what that's about. We will find out, I'm sure, eventually. Well, now we have something. But we also have another camp. Hello, camp. You will work for me now. For I have decreed it. Diamonds to go there. Oh, another chest. And we'll get some more coins. Eventually there will be monsters roaming the land. And from what I gathered playing Kingdom, uh, it was important to find out where they were coming from so you can build up the that, that town's defense side. Uh, you only have two defense sides to worry about, left and right. Um, so, at least it's a good idea to know where your enemy's coming from before they get there. Alright, horse, I get it. You're tired. No. Nope. Get that back. So we'll get back to the village. Uh, the game does have a day-night cycle, not to be confused with, like, the darkness of the woods. Uh, but when night comes, that's when the creatures come. So let's make sure that we have at least some people ready for defending our town. Although the first night's uh, events shouldn't be too catastrophic. Hey! That's right. Gather our food, men. Oh, thank you. Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll get another axe guy. I uh, should probably get another bowman. Ooh, thank you. Uh, and what do we got going on over here? Can we get... Some defenses there, please. Uh, since we have some money, let's uh, start getting some some upgrades going. Because, uh, like I said, things will start popping off. Okay, so here comes the enemies. Not too drastic, at least. Oh, we got some.
A, 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 A. Oh, that could have been worse. All right, let's, let's start getting serious about uh, getting some towers built here. Because we only have one line of defense here. Ooh, ominous. We will need to go and gather more peasants, so let's see if we can find some wayward souls that uh, that will uh, be part of our community now. Thank you, guys. I wonder if this is the trader. Okay, I didn't want to expand too quickly in either direction, just in case there was something. I don't want to cut away the trees in this area because I have a feeling that that camp will sort of disappear if I do. Uh, so, at the very least, uh, we know where that is. Okay, and this is our ship, and from what, from what I remember, uh, the ship you build, and once it's complete, uh, you and your surviving villagers can get off, uh, can sail off into the next uh, stage, level, environment, I don't know, the harder difficulties of whatever game I've been playing, because it's sort of like a... Uh, it's sort of like a progressive um, defense type game. Uh, so you know what? We should have enough for at least... Uh, I don't know if... I think villagers have to come and build that, unfortunately. So um, it will take a lot more resources to complete fully. So at the very least, uh, we'll get the initial construction started. I don't expect to be around very long uh, to see it finish off. And yeah, there goes the two villagers to start my order of finishing on, or starting that, that boat repair. Uh, but I think we can do with a little bit more clearing on this side. So... Let's do that, and if we can get to the river, at least we I think we can build up another wall defense there. Uh, oh, I think we need... Uh, let's get more bowmen. And uh, get our defenses a little bit working here. Although I hope that uh, I didn't just screw myself because uh, uh, the people who I need to build this stuff are off doing something else. Oh. Yeah, might have might have made a bad decision there. Okay. Oh. Uh, we need to get our society up to the next stage. Ugh. You know what? I shouldn't have started the boat as early as I did. Okay, we need more coin. We are on the land. We need more coin. We know you have some. Come on, let's go. Have a tent. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do, but you do it. Well, that may be our trader. All right, they'll come back with more goodies for us. Uh, do we have any villagers that are not doing stuff? 
You know what? Do you guys need a home? You do! Nope. Need more... Need more wealth. Well, if he keeps hunting the squirrels and the squirrels keep dropping the coin, then I won't... I won't say no. It's becoming night again. You go. Another bow guy won't hurt. Because I have a feeling I'm lagging behind here. I am suspicious that there will be monsters I can't defend against coming out shortly. That's right, get behind the wall! Uh-oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's... <laughs> that's the traitor lady. A traitor dude? I don't know. A traitor individual. How, are, how goes the traitor individual? Why, thank you. <laughs> On the fourth day? Is it the fourth day of Christmas? We now have several tents. Uh, okay. I was about to say, <laughs> always have one one coin ready for the trader. Uh, just beneficial that way. Nothing for me. Never mind then. Uh. I think this will make it a, a defense post, but I don't want to get too overzealous yet. I want to keep uh, I want to keep the villagers within arm reach. Uh, they they're a little bit too widely spread. Um, it could mean a little disastrous for us. Not like it's going to get disastrous anyway. Rode all this way for you gentlemen to join our village of idiots. Another chest. We are getting a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, here comes enemies. Run, horse, run! We got a little bit too greedy, and now they're coming for us. Can't imagine it'd be nighttime already, but maybe we just got a little bit close to where they spawned from, because you do sort of have to find that as well. Two new guys will become bowmen. Defend our village! Okay, why can't we increase our uh, defenses? Am I an idiot? We'll get rid of those trees for now. Uh, we will expand down out that way. You, you gotta get moving. Get moving. Uh, more peeps, please. We like the peeps. Nope. 
I didn't actually want that tree cut down, but hopefully it doesn't uh, doesn't make things harder for us. Uh, we are going to get one more guy here. Thank you. And let's clear this. Build this up a little bit so that, uh, I don't know, we don't run into too much trouble. But that's sort of the name of the game. Uh, expand, expand, expand. All right. Something's keeping us from uh, doing what we need to do here. Uh, you, what do you have? Oh, you're a farmer guy. Okay, we can do that. And let's see if we can get to the next level. Another bowman. And I think we have another gentleman that... Well, let's get another farmer in the field. Our builders. Um, you guys keep dropping money, then sure, why not? Uh, what is Nicely done, guys! Let's get that up a little bit more. Oh, my trader's returned. Thank you! So our little society isn't doing too badly, uh, but there is stuff that is keeping me from from being able to upgrade some of these guys more. We'll get a villager at that. And we'll go investigating a little bit more this way. Okay, so they have started construction on this, and even though it is two coins, it's just for the next piece. So there will be a lot of that going on, and I'd rather not pull builders away from the village quite yet. Even though I've already started them on this little venture. I don't know what we have all the way out here, but a little bit of exploration is sort of needed in this game as well. Ah, there's an enemy portal. And if I give the command, uh, I can have uh, warriors come in and take it down, or attempt to take it down. Uh, but for now... We just want to keep surviving for a couple days longer.
we're not doing too badly here. Um, but like I said, uh, enemies will ramp up pretty quickly. So if you're not careful, um, you could be leaving yourself open for a world of hurt. Oh. They'll have something for me. Uh, so our main building will need something before the next upgrade. Again, not really sure what that is, but since it's my first time playing this version... We'll just tell people... Have some coins. We'll clear out some of that side and see what kind of enhancements we can get off to the right. more trees and see if we can get homeless. Oh, is this going to be like my barracks? Hammer faster, guys! Hmm, interesting. Nice bustling community. And I brought them all together. I did. Oh, thanks, guys. You're swell. There's a little battle going on out there. But it looks like we have won. For now. Alright, well, this is very interesting, at least as far as uh, an expansion to the Kingdom franchise. And I am certainly digging it. So I will continue to play more of this. But if you are interested in what you saw in my quick play of Kingdom... Norse lands, uh, then by all means, pick it up. It should be available in the app stores. It is a premium game, uh, but should not be an awful lot of money to pick up. Uh, even the base experience is pretty solid and well worth playing as well. Uh, but then you can pay an additional cost for the DLC, Norse lands, and get yourself into the land of the Norse and see how long you can survive for. I'm sure my days are quite numbered by now. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smack that like button, leave me a comment, 
or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness. Because you never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Get back out to trading, you.